We're about to build the eights class, and what we're going to do is called what we've been doing so far is top down design, where we've decided what types of objects we need uh, based on just some general uh, playing card ideas like we need a deck, we need a way to hold cards, uh, we need to be able to shuffle to move or deal cards between uh, different containers. So we, what we've been doing was uh, top down. Now we're gonna do bottom up design where we're gonna analyze the Crazy Eights game a little more thoroughly and then decide uh, what specifically we need to accomplish uh, the Crazy Eights game. So instead of just reading off what's on here, I'm gonna scroll way back up to the Crazy Eights description here. All right, the main objective is the first player to get rid of all your cards. So we're gonna to need to probably have a while loop that keeps going until there's a player with no cards. So we first deal five or more cards to each player. Uh, I'm not sure how we know when to deal more cards to each player, uh, but we'll deal cards to each player, one card face up to create the discard pile. So the discard pile, we're gonna have to know what is the top card on the discard pile. Remain, uh, replace, place the remaining cards uh, face down to create the draw pile. Okay, so we need one special card in the discard pile that's up and then the rest are gonna be down. So maybe we need a discard pile with its own special two string that only shows us the top card. Each player takes turns placing a single card on the discard pile. This card must match the rank or suit of the previously played card or be an eight. So we, we've seen this code already. Uh, so you're trying to get rid of a card by matching rank or suit. And here's the uh, previously played card. You saw that pre prev for short for previous card. When players don't have a matching card or an eight, they must draw new cards until they get one. All right, so we've already coded this in. I, I think that's in the player class. If the draw pile ever runs out, the discard pile is shuffled except the top card and becomes the new draw pile. So we're gonna to need to keep track of not just the draw, but also the discard pile. And then when the draw pile runs out, when the size is zero, we're gonna to have to grab everything from the discard pile except the top card and move it over to the uh, draw pile. Uh, as soon as the player has no cards, the game ends. All their players score penalty points for their remaining cards. So we're also going to have to compute how many points are remaining in a hand. Okay, so that's a quick overview. Now we'll get back to uh, the description in the section we're looking at.